Today, I'm going to show you how Hazabe tribe hunt animals with these bow and arrows. Let's go. First day, I was so excited. So I thought they were going to get a big zebra. But the nature wasn't easy. We got only a bird. Second day, we walked more and deeper into jungle. It was tough and dangerous. When I was so starving, they were whistling. I thought it was kind of conversation, but it was not. It was for a bush baby. They got him. No way out for him, and he made sure of this hunting. Right after that, they started to make a fire for a bush baby barbecue. <laughs> they burned all hair and removed the skin, cut piece by piece, and roasted again. It may seem too much for you, but it's necessary for them. This is the only way they get a meat from. Also, I tried. It right. tastes like when I was young. Me and my dad used to hunt a pigeon. Exactly like that taste. Tougher than chicken, but not bad. Two hours later, they found a monkey. We chased for 30 minutes under trees. It was jumping so fast. He got a chance. But the monkey was faster than us. We lost him. At the end of seven hours hunting, we got four bush babies, one squirrel. But still, they needed food. So they wanted to hunt a baboon. We decided to go hunting at night. There's a few hours that you can't see the sun and the moon on the sky. The best time to hunt. After a few hours, finally we found them. I saw 10 of baboons. They can't lose this chance. They chase to shoot and chase to shoot. Suddenly, they stopped talking. There was silence. After a few minutes, they started to pray. And they said, we're not going to hunt a baboon tonight. Because when they got a chance to shoot, most of the time, they got in five shootings. If they couldn't, they believe the sky doesn't allow to hunt anymore. So we left the jungle without baboon. But I can't complain about that. Because even if you couldn't get a baboon, Still, it was the most amazing experience I've ever had in my life. And also I saw they just don't kill animals. They respect rules of the nature. Thank you for watching.